Hello everyone, we have a video that's kind of weird here today, which is the Kirill Kaprizov news still swirling around the air. We aren't sure what's happening as of right now, but we of course know that Russia has a war going on in Ukraine, special military operation according to them. And as of white, there's been more talk about whether or not Russian players should go back to Russia. As of right now, we do not know if Kaprizov is in Russia or in the US, but we have seen guys, uh, KHLers that have their fraudulent military IDs get long-term sentences to you know military service or punishment. We've also seen a Flyers goalie, you know who that is, go and have to go to a northern military base, and I think he's going to play for an amateur team there or something like that. But the reality is, if you go to Russia, we could very well see a lot of these players not come back. So I think we might see Kaprizov get stuck there. The reality is that I think he would have to serve for a year from what I've read and he would be put in the Air Force. Not sure if that's actually true or not. But of course, this is a big story to follow because if you have a lot of younger players, a lot of Russian players, the Russians had the fourth most, I think, players in the league this past season. And you're going to see a lot of young guys and maybe even some older guys go over there and then have to do military service. Because at the end of the day, this is a dictatorship, and of course, they're going to do whatever they want. They could change their conscription rules, even though they're saying they're not doing conscription, but we've heard different reports about it, and we'll have to see how it goes. Of course, hoping that Kaprizov is safe, and I'm hoping that more Russian players either don't go back to Russia because of this, or are able to get out of there. It really feels like we're back into the... 80s and 90s stuff like that where the players had to defect and sneak out of the Soviet Union here we are 30 plus years later and some of these guys are in the same situation where they're just hockey players but they might have to sneak on out of their own home country so that way they don't have to do military conscription I don't know if they would get sent on over to the front or not but it is something to be aware of so if you have a Russian player or multiple Russian players on your team you might want to keep an eye out for where they are and of course how old they are that'll play a factor as well but if of course, I have no idea what's going on at the moment. We'll have to see with Kaprizov because that's the biggest storyline. Hopefully, he is back and hopefully we'll get some more news as of late. But that's all for this video. Everybody stay safe. Have a great night.